Okay, so how many zucchini do you think would be good for this ratatouille? Hey guys! Hi. I love how colorful these fresh vegetables are. Oh, these are great healthy choices for Jacob. So this recipe serves six, mm -hmm. but we need 500 for the kids in my school, so it could get very costly. Right. Well, you can always replace some of the vegetables for uh, cost-effective frozen uh, choices. That sounds like, like a great idea. So I wonder how much money you'd actually save. That would be a great question. Well, it sounds like a great question for my friend Kim. Kim! How you doing, girl? We have an interesting problem in search of a solution. So, if Jacob cooked enough ratatouille to serve 500 students, how much money would the school save if he replaced some of the fresh vegetables with frozen vegetables? Uh, Kim, you're on. I'm what? You're on. Oh, oh, okay. Well, scaling costs is a big deal in the food industry. Let's figure out this problem together. I have two total costs to calculate, the cost with the fresh vegetables and the cost with the frozen ones. I can't solve this problem without first knowing how much both the fresh and frozen vegetables cost. The recipe calls for about 950 grams of fresh bell peppers and squash, enough to make six servings. Your grocery store might have a different price, but here, that amount of vegetables cost $8.45. Then there are the frozen vegetables. The ones I buy come in bags that cost $2.99. Each bag has 454 grams of vegetables. We'll have to do some math to figure out how many servings that is. This is all the information we need, so let's work to find the solution. The fresh vegetables cost $8.45 for six servings. That's a ratio of 8.45 to 6. We need to know what the cost would be for 500 people. I'll call the cost C. The total cost is proportional to the number of people, so we can set up the proportional equation C equals KX to solve this. C is the total cost and x is the number of people, we can make x equal to 500 right away. k is the constant of proportionality. We can think of that as the cost per person. Because $8.45 is enough for six people, k equals 8.45 over six. Serving fresh vegetables to 500 people would cost about $704. Now let's look at the cost of the frozen vegetables. The frozen vegetables come in bags of 454 grams each. That's only about half of what we needed for six people. So we want to calculate this more precisely. Let's start by finding how many grams are in a single serving. If we divide the amount of vegetables in the original recipe by the number of people it serves, we get about 158.3 grams of vegetables per person. We need enough vegetables for 500 people though, so let's multiply that number by 500. That's 79,150 grams. That's a lot of grams, but how many bags is that? We can divide that amount by 454 grams to find out. We get just over 174 bags. Since we can't buy part of a bag and don't want to run short, let's round up to 175 bags. Now remember, each bag was $2.99. So, serving frozen vegetables to 500 people would cost about $523. Finally, we can compare the two costs. So Jacob, using the frozen vegetables saves you about $180. Sure adds up. Imagine having to worry about that every meal of the school year. And now back to my big problem, shucking this oyster. Nice try there with that oyster, Kim. Okay, all of our students have done the math and they're ready to prepare their meals, which I look forward to tasting with the help of a surprise.